Hi, I'm Jamie, leading developer relations at All Hands AI. And today I'm here to show you how to run Open Hands locally on a Windows 11 home machine. Now, we are going to need WSL. I did install this before because I had to restart the computer. But as you can see, I have already installed it. If you need to install it, then you'll just put WSL and then hyphen hyphen install, and that's going to install it. Now, if we go to WSL and we want to see the list of options, you can see that we don't have any distributions. And so we are going to need a distribution in order to run open hands locally. And the one that I found that works really well is Ubuntu. And so we are going to go ahead and install that by doing WSL install. And this is going to download Ubuntu. It's going to install it so that it is ready to go. Okay, and then you're going to need to create a user account. And then boom, we are using it. So in this case, we will also need to install UV. UV is a package manager, and that is what you will need to access the MCP for open hands. So we are going to go ahead and install UV. Now the next thing that we need is we are going to need Docker. So I am going to go to Docker and download and install. So let's go ahead and install. In my case, I'm going to download the AMD version. We last left off with the Docker restart requiring a restart. So my machine has officially restarted. And as you can see, Docker is ready to go. And then we can go ahead and do a quick check of what we have. So Docker installed, correct. And then as you can see, there's two different distributions. We have Ubuntu and we have Docker. You do not want Docker. You want to make sure that you have that as your default. So let's go ahead and go in here, and as I mentioned before, you can also actually type Ubuntu as well and click this in order to open a terminal. And then let's go ahead and check the Docker version here. It's ready to go. Love seeing that. And then we also need UV, and that is ready to go as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the GUI set up locally, and then I will show you how to do the CLI. So first you want to do go into WSL, and then from there we are going to go ahead and run this command. The first time you run this, it's going to take a while. The next time you run it, it will not take as long. I have already run it, so it is not going to take super long to get up and running. As you can see, it says Unicorn running. Once this is running, then you can go ahead and check out localhost. And I'm going to pull this to the forefront. You can check out different LLM providers. There's a very long list. You can stick with open hands. That's what I typically do. Then from there, you can pick a model that you want. We have multiple models available. 
more model options than if you were using the cloud version, the browser online version. I'll do GPT-5, and then you can select your API key. To get your API key, you can click for instructions to learn more, or you can go into your settings on the browser in the cloud version. And that is how you run it locally using BB. Now I'm going to make sure to kill this instance. And I'm going to show you how to run it using the Docker instead. So this is the alternative method. And I do want to say that we recommend using UV first, but this is an alternative method. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and have it run. I will share with you while this is loading that if you run this Docker command in PowerShell and not WSL, you will run into an error because of the backslashes versus a tick. So make sure you are running this in WSL. Everything we're running is in WSL. As you can see, it is running. Unicorn is there. I'm going to go ahead and load it again on this. I can load it in a push. And that is how you can run it using the Docker. Finally, I wanted to show you how to run it using the CLI. Now make sure to kill this. Otherwise, you'll have to go around and kill it. To run the CLI is very similar to the first method, but you're not going to put serve. And when you run the CLI method, you will be able to also add MCP servers, among other things, using this. And as you can see, open hands, etc. Um, and no settings if you're running an MCP dog right here. Thanks again for watching this video on learning how to run open hands locally on a Windows 11 home machine. I hope you've learned a lot. If you run into any technical difficulties or you're just excited about joining the community, please go in the description below and use the link to join our Slack. That's where you'll find our entire team as well as our community and we have an awesome time there. So thanks again for watching and see you on the next one.